What's going on everybody, it's Itelmer and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm really excited to show you the hand post recorder that was released on version 38 and also a couple of changes that I had to make to make it work. So this video is just to show you how we can start recording some of the hand poses and also showing you how we can tweak some of those hand poses in real time and basically give you the information that you need in order for you to get started by actually cloning the repo that I pushed to GitHub. So I jump into my computer and I start looking at it. So I'm gonna press R and you're gonna see that it's gonna start the timer. I'm gonna position my hand exactly where I want the pose. And you guys can see that I'm rotating the object so that I can see exactly where that pose is gonna be. I'm gonna put it right here as well and we can just take one more and then I'll hit space to stop it. That way we don't keep doing poses. So you guys can see I can rotate it. This is gonna fall also with physics because it basically has a physics a component, a rigid body. But the cool thing with this system though is I can go ahead and try to snap it. And you can see that in real time, this is snapping to the hand grab interactable. So I'm gonna go ahead and hold it with my left hand. Let's try perhaps to hold it right here on the cap of the flashlight. And obviously this is not perfect, right? This is not a perfect grab, but that's what I wanna show you. Now that you have this, we can clean it up. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop it there. And you can see that we have two different options, one to store and one to load. I'm going to go ahead and make sure that I look at my object and it doesn't really matter like if you have it highlighted or not. The reason why I wanted to look at the object is to show you all the different grab interactables that I have in here. You guys can see all the different joints. So if we go back to it and you hit store poses, you're gonna see that there's gonna be a scriptable object that gets created. And this is gonna be very useful because we're gonna be using these to reload some of these poses. And then once you do that, you can just hit play and it's going to basically take us back to the very beginning. But the cool thing with this though, is this has the name of the object that I was recording with. So if I were to go here and in fact, let's go into the hand pose recorder plus, and I'm gonna be selecting the, the poses collection, which is the one that we just created. And then once I do that, it's going to have a reference to the object that I was recording. It knows everything about it. And that's all the magic that uh, the guys at Meta created. And I've just kind of mimicked some of the stuff that they did. And then once you do that, you're gonna see that now we have all these different hand grab interactables available. There are some that might not be very helpful. I also need to make sure that I select that ghost provider. Let me make sure that I do that. I think, okay, this one is the one. Okay, so these two, I think they were the default ones. We don't need them. And then, in fact, if you wanna keep one for the middle, you can, I, I think we can just use the ones that we recorded. But this is a cool thing, right? We now have all these hand grab interactables. And let's say that I wanted, if I wanted to modify one of them here in real time, perhaps this one, right? This is the one that I just didn't like how the fingers were attaching. So what we can do is we can just adjust some of the fingers in here. Maybe I'll just bring that one in. And then maybe, maybe what I'll do here on the room, I'll just go ahead and disable the room so that I can see where those hands are. Let me go ahead and go back. No, that one, it's this one. And then now that what I can see is I can now also snap maybe that. Just make it look realistic, right? You're gonna be playing with all these different joints. And in this case, the, the pinky finger was set as free, so it doesn't have the joints, but you can go in here and just change that if you want it to be constrained, you can constrain it and then adjust those. I'm gonna leave it as default. So now we should be able to grab it and let's see if I can grab it from here. And this is some of the poses that we created. We also, this one doesn't look really good. I think my, my thumb finger is like way, way off. I think it breaks the experience because it does not look realistic at all. So, so I wanna make sure that we, we're at least, you know, somehow looking a little bit more realistic. I think, I think that works. I don't need, and that's probably going to be this one for the other hand. And just FYI, when you mirror these things, it basically is just changing all the coordinates and everything for you. And it also changes the hand that you're using. In this case, this one is for the left hand. This one is going to be for the right hand. So basically that's all of that for you. So we can select another object and then just do control P to play the unity scene. Okay, so that works there. Okay, this looks a lot better, right? Also my pinky finger being free, I don't kind of, I don't like that, but I think for a demo, this works. So let's try and do a different object. So now if we get back into the knife object, you're gonna see that I have a hand grab interactable here. And the reason why I did that is so that we can just allow us to grab it with the left hand, just because I had issues with creating a actual hand poses with this object. So, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and grab it, try to grab it and create multiple poses. You guys can see there, I'll do another one right here. 
and perhaps we can grab one right here like I'm grabbing the <laughs> and then maybe one right here so we can get back into the hand post recorder plus and I don't have a poses collection selected so I'm gonna do a store and now I can go ahead and hit play and we're gonna go back into normal I'm gonna make this one a little bit bigger so we can focus on some of these a lot you know a lot better so if I get close to this if we look at the uh, this object I'm gonna first delete my grab uh, my hand grab interactable and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go get back to this one just like I did on the previous object go back into your hand post recorder plus and you can hit low poses and in this case it didn't load it right because we didn't tell it to to actually use one of the scriptables and that's what it would do there's nothing to to be loaded so in this case now I did select it and then hit load it but then you can go in here and then you know play with some of those we can see the one that I added in here it's kind of touching and this one too and this one too so it's a system that is really really cool because you can you know you can obviously uh, go in and tweak some of those poses for now we'll just leave them like that and then what I'll do here is I don't know if I can mirror all of them at once oh it looks like I can okay so that's a feature that we're going to be requesting to the meta team but for now we'll just go ahead and mirror each one of them I'll mirror this one I'll also mirror this one mirror this one and I wanted to know if these videos were too long or if you guys like the details so let me know in the comments if you guys like the detail that I'm going through on some of these or if you think they're too long or too short let me know as well okay so let's try here let's see if I can grab it okay so this one I can grab it we'll fix that this one I can okay so let me get back into it and I think I know why I think when I recorded them I didn't have the supporting grab type set to true if you go back into the hand post recorder plus make sure that you have this one set to all otherwise it's going to record them with that uh, as not being able to interact with them so we'll just do all okay so we have it loaded now if we go back in here you can see that this looks really cool see if I can grab it from the front that looks cool let me see if I can grab another one maybe okay so this is the one that kind of look okay let's see let's try okay this is the one that I'm doing you know something like that I'm attacking some enemies but I mean overall I think this is cool right we can play with some of these ones this one definitely fix it I would fix it before I upload the code but you know you get the idea and then if I go and grab this one I can have different interactions I can use both of my hands so I'm gonna leave it like this and if you guys have any questions about this let me know in the comments I'm going to be uploading this to GitHub in the next few minutes thank you guys